little video tonight. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know I've worn Doc Martin boots for years. I've um, been wearing these ones in particular, or not these ones exactly, but the Four Life um, Hard Life leather boots. I've had them in brown, black, and these are the Oxblood now. Um, I've been wearing these for five years now. So the first video I did, I think, was on these in 2012. Um, awful audio, awful lighting, but that's life. Um, so I've really covered these a lot. Um, and throughout um, the videos on those, people have said, you've got to check out the Made in England uh, Doc Martens. They're so much better. Night and day sort of construction. Check them out. So here we are. We've got a pair of for life in Oxblood as well. Um, sorry, a pair of made in England in Oxblood as well. And uh, we can do a side by side comparison. So in this video, hopefully I'll go through the construction, the pricing, the value, and the fit. Um, we'll take a look at them on, we'll have some close ups, and we will uh, share some thoughts on, on how they're put together. Now for the um, for life boots over the years. They look quite tired after a while if you don't look after them. Uh, obviously you should keep them oiled up with the uh, Wonder Balls them and uh, give them a little brush over, keep them looking good. But on top of that, the soles wear out very quickly. So these boots, um, very worn on the soles already, um, six months or so um, on the road, if you will. And people have said, check out the Made England, they're much better. So let's have a quick look at the difference in the construction. So if we pop one of the boots to one side, just so we can take a look in a bit more detail. The Made in England boots are quite clearly a different sort of leather. They're sort of polished, hard leather, very much reminiscent of the, uh, the Dot Martens you'll know from well, from what well, I know from my childhood. Um, the sort of leather which takes a bit of breaking in, um, but at the same time may well hold up nicely over life. The, for life boots, are a softer, much more supple, oily leather, the hard life leather, um, and it's instantly comfortable. I would say, you know, there's little or no breaking for these. Um, certainly, if you're someone who wears a, a fairly decent pair of thick socks, um, you know, there's very little discomfort. These, on the other hand, I think are gonna take a little bit of breaking in. It's a heavier gauge of leather, all in all, uh, much more rem reminiscent of the leather you might find on, say, uh, a pair of Red Wings in sort of its weight. And uh, if you've had Red Wings before, you'll know breaking in is a thing with Red Wings. So there is a bit more of a traditional feel with the Made England boots um, in terms of leather. In terms of the general construction, they're very, very similar. Um, the Made in England have got rather nice contrasting uh, stitching. And also, if you look carefully, and maybe we'll pick this up in a close up in a minute, you can actually see the, the sewing machine marks um, where it's actually made by hand. These do feel like they're made by hand. Um, these are made in Thailand, I believe. Yeah, Thailand. and. Uh, so I'm pointed out, yeah, they're all going to be made by hand. That's typical of the the boot and shoe industry. Um, but they don't quite feel like they're made with quite a lot or quite as much care and attention. So that's kind of the uppers. Um, very, very similar. Pretty identical in terms of construction. You know, the same sort of cuts of leather in terms of the, the, the pieces that go together to make it. Um, but just a little bit difference in the construction quality and also the, the weight and nature of the leather. Now the soles are where my main complaints come for Doc Martens. I seem to be able to start wearing these smooth after about six months. After a year of uh, daily use, they're really slick. Um, not so good. I always feel that the um, the tread pattern could be deeper. On both boots, the tread pattern is pretty much equally deep, albeit we're kind of comparing a warm pair of boots with 
a used pair of boot, uh, a new pair of boots, um, but very similar tread patterns and depths. Now the, the weight of the rubber, or the sort of the hardness of the rubber, it's hard to say. And again, these have been worn in a little bit. But I'm feeling that I think these made in England might be a slightly tougher rubber compound. So maybe they're going to wear a little bit better and have a little bit more durability. Obviously the soles, very similar. Um, the Four Life have a little uh, logo there. The Made England simply say Made England. But apart from that, very, very similar. I do wish they put a deeper tread pattern on. I really do. Um, in, in terms of fit, as I say, we'll pop them on in a minute. Um, the initial impression to my eye is that the Made in England, let's pop this tag out of the way a bit, uh, the Made in England have a narrower and possibly a slightly shorter um, toe box. It looks and feels like it needs to uh, break in a bit more than the, the four lifes do. Um, also the the sort of outstand from the uh, the sole, the amount of projection around the edge here, also looks a bit greater. But I'm sure that will balance out after breaking. As you can see, these have somewhat uh, spread as they've broken in, so not an accurate comparison necessarily. Then, really, on to price. So. The made in England, £170. The for life, I believe, are now retailing at £195. Now, if you know the for life deal, free repairs and replacements for life. Never had a repair, always replaced, no fuss at all, £20 handling fee, and that's the job done. Now, that would seem to me that the full life is a better deal. However, done a little bit of searching around, it might not be the case in Europe, it might not be the case in America, but you can get these, or any Doc Martin, resold very easily in the UK. Um, I found two places online which would do it. 40 or 50 pounds for a authentic Doc Martens resole. So basically I'm imagining they're cutting off just below the welt here and gluing and heat welding on a new sole. So if you put that into the equation, and you're gonna get a year's life out of them, then, before you resold them, then I think these are starting to feel like as good a deal as these guys. Because over the course of a year, 170 plus 40 pounds for a resole, 195 pounds plus 20 pounds handling. It is almost like these become better value. If they're better leather and they're aging nicely and they're breaking in nicely and getting that nice patina and becoming your boot, you might actually want to choose these over the full life. I don't know how many times you can resole them and you might not need to resole them as often as I do because you might not walk as much as me. So that, that's a bit of food for thought really. Are these the better deal? I don't know. These feel like they're made nicer or made more nicely. Then, so on the thought the theme of value, the package, what do you get in the box? With the made in England, you get a nice box, um, but not anything else really. For the full life, you get a pot of Wonder Balsam, which is really helpful. Um, obviously for these guys, you'd probably actually choose to have um, the Oxblood dubbing polish, but for these, the balsam is really what you want. So you get that first time you buy them, and every time you get a new pack or a new pair, you typically get a second pair of laces. And I tend to break these laces pretty regularly, so that's kind of quite good. M makes it feel like a good package. Bit of a shame you don't get another pair of laces, especially some nice yellow ones, which look great in with these guys. So, let's have a quick look on, on some close-ups. We'll pop them on. So just coming in, we'll some up. quick close-ups. Side by side, you can see, as I said, the toe box does seem a little bit wider on the, for life. 
and the sole extending around the edge there seems a little bit more pronounced on the Made in England. Nice contrasting stitching, quite like that. You can see some machine marks really showing the sort of handmade qualities. Unfinished collar there, rough leather on the inside. The vamp is cotton lined. Made in England stamped at the top there. Nice sole, as you'd expect. And then kind of more on the same, more of the same on the for life. Not contrast stitched, but still triple stitched on there on the side there. Double stitched on the back. Traditional Dot Martin sole, albeit a bit worn. Piping around the top here. Inside, fairly basic insole. This is cotton lined up the front as well. Well, that's about it. Um, really interesting to finally get my hands on some Made in England boots. Um, they are really nice. Um, I will look forward to breaking these in. Um, I think they are going to be tougher to break in than these guys over here. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting to have had the feedback over the years. Everyone said check out the Made, made in England ones. They're going to be far superior than these ones that are made in Thailand. I can understand where people are coming from. Different cut of leather. It's the it's Aquilian leather, if I didn't say that earlier. Really nice, much more heritage feel. Um, whilst I accept they're probably actually both handmade, these do feel um, more, I don't know, more organic in their construction. Um, they are nicer, they've got character. These, however, you can rely on these. Been using them for five years, so I still kind of like them quite a lot. Um, but yeah, let's see how they wear in. I'll do some uh, follow-up videos as these guys break in. And yeah, really useful to finally get these side by side after all the comments over the years about the comparative values and qualities. Okay, well that brings us to the end of the video. If you haven't seen my channel before, um, I'd love it if you checked it out. Um, quality footwear, denim, everyday carry, pen knives, fountain pens, coffee making kit, we might share some other interests or other common interests. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. As I say, subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.